hi guys welcome to Android guider so in this video we are going to show you on how you can install the google play store on any amazon fire tablet so uh, first up i will just be showing you the device model uh, so on the device options as you can see that this is the amazon fire hd8 tablet and this is the sixth generation model which was released back in october 2016 and uh, if you want to see then uh, uh, this device is running on Amazon Fire OS 5.3.2.1 and uh, this is the build number in case you are interested it is 49.5.6.3 um, okay so installing the Google Play Store is a really very simple task and in case you have read somewhere or heard from someone that uh, installing the Google Play Store on your Amazon Fire tablet it is too much of a complicated task then uh, Trust me, it, that's not the case at all and uh, installing the Play Store is actually really very simple. So first up, all you need to do is uh, go down uh, go down in the description box and I have put down a, uh, put down a link to a .zip file uh, in the description box. Go, go ahead and download it on your tablet. Uh, you can uh, use the Silk browser which we have uh, by default in uh, the, which we have built in by default in the Amazon OS just use it download that zip file right on your tablet and then uh, just follow all the other instructions which i am just going to show you okay so next up we uh, have to head over to the amazon app store and in here we have to type in es file explorer so this is the file manager which we will be using to extract the contents of the zip file okay so either you can just uh, tap on the download uh, download option right in the search results in the quick search results search suggestions or whatever you may you may want to call that or you can just tap on the download button right here okay so this is just a 9.3 mb application and uh, it should not take much time uh, in getting installed and uh, at the same time uh, uh, i hope just uh, just keep in mind that the the file uh, which i have put down in the description box you need to download it on your tablet using the silk browser don't do anything else just go ahead and download that file on your tablet only don't download it in your pc and then you know transfer it using uh, your usb cable to your tablet just uh, go ahead and simply download that file right on your tablet okay so we'll just wait uh, for it to get installed Okay, so there we go the es file explorer has been installed we'll just tap on the open button now and uh, just wait for a while to okay so it has loaded up now okay so in case you have followed all the instruction which i have told you now in case uh, you have gone ahead and downloaded the dot zip file which i have put down in below in the description box using the silk browser on your tablet in case you have done that then uh, all you need to do is just tap on this three dotted icon or uh, wait a while I'll just enable the show touches options so that uh, it can be easier for you guys to follow me so I'll first of all go down to the developer options and enable this show touches option so don't worry you don't uh, need to enable this show touches option uh, the sh this show touches option actually just helps me in uh, uh, helps you guys in seeing the uh, where I'm touching on the screen so it will be it will just make uh, make it easier for you to follow me okay so just tap on this three dotted icon uh, then uh, you need to go to local and on the download option okay so i had uh, the file which i had told you to download was the android guider play store amazon os dot zip this was a file which i have put down a link in the description box for that you can just head over to the download link and uh, download this file okay so once you have downloaded the dot zip file just tap on it once long press on each on each of these you can you know you can just see this uh, green check mark icon right next to all the uh, all the files which are in this dot zip we just need to extract them so just tap on all of them once and once they are done just click on this extract option okay so you can uh, choose the path uh, you want to extract them to i'll just let uh, let this be whatever path it is choosing just tap on the ok option and it will extract all the four files which I had uh, which are there in the dot zip file okay so it has saved them to in the download option we will just go back now and 
just open this folder and then we just need to install all the four applications which are in there so first up we'll just tap on this install option next and then again on install so this will install the google services framework uh, this app is essential for uh, uh, syncing your device with the uh, google servers again then uh, this is the google account manager which we need to install so as the name suggests uh, this application will um, actually help in uh, signing uh, in signing into your google account um, okay so it's not really that important to uh, know the uses of all these applications so again you just need to install the google play services too again the order in which you install these applications does not matter at all all you need to do is just install all the application packages which i have uh, which you had just extracted in the previous step install them and uh, you know just follow what i am doing uh, the installation procedure is not at all complicated in fact uh, just after the google play services has been installed we will be undertaking our uh, last step in uh, installing the google play store so it's not a tough job at all uh, and in case you might have heard from someone that the installing the google play store on the amazon os is really very tough then uh, don't trust them don't trust those guys because this is a really very easy procedure and even someone who is uh, new to this uh, technology group uh, for someone who is new to technology or someone who does not know all the procedures which we need to undertake to uh, download and install the google play store you know it's not at all complicated it is a really very simple procedure but you just need to follow all the instructions which i am uh, showing you in this video okay so uh, the Google Play services will uh, take some time to install. Uh, it might even take a, it uh, may be a minute or two. Uh, so we'll just wait and uh, let this get installed. Okay, so as you can see that it has got installed. Just tap on done again. And then uh, lastly we need to install the Google Play Store. Okay, so just tap on install now. Next and just tap on install. Okay, so this is the last step. As I told you, this is the last step which we are undertaking before installing the Google Play Store. Um, okay, so we'll just uh, wait a while. Again, this might take a minute or two to uh, get installed. Okay, so as you can see that the Google Play Store has now installed. I'll just tap on done again. Uh, we'll tap on the home navigation key, scroll down and there you can see the Google Play Store. We, you just need now need to tap on the Play Store option and there we are. It will load up the Play Store screen and then this is the Google account manager uh, stepping up into the play and uh, uh, this will help in uh, linking your Google account. Uh, so all you need to now do is enter your username id your new username and then follow it up with the with the password of your google account and you just need to follow this uh, sign up procedure and once you are done with the sign up procedure you will be in there and you will be able to use the google play store so i guess uh, this pretty much sums up this video and uh, guys it is again it's not really complicated at all you just need to follow all the instructions which i have stated in this video again in case you have any down if you have any doubts if uh, anything uh, if you did not understand anything uh, which i tried to explain in this video then uh, do feel free to pin down your thoughts below in the comment section and uh, i will get back to you as soon as possible okay so after you have just uh, followed this uh, uh, sign in procedure you will be able to download and install applications directly from the google play store and the next time you need to access the play store you again just need to tap on this uh, tap on the play store icon on your home screen uh, so i guess this pretty much sums up this video so in case you like this video then do hit the thumbs up button and in case you want to get a notification in uh, whenever i upload my next video then do subscribe to my channel as well so thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you guys in the next one